Yo, what's poppin'? Welcome to Broman Rhapsody. This is where we review cars and motorcycles. I'm the host for your motorcycles and the punk does the cars. Today we're back at Indian Motorcycle Greensboro with my man Isa. Isa, how you doing, buddy? Hey, bro, how you doing, buddy? Living the dream, living the dream. Good, good. And speaking about the dream, what do we have here? This is a 2021 Scout Bobber. 2021 uh, Indian Scout Bobber. This is one of the hottest motorcycles in the market right now. Yes. Uh, there's a wait time of six to eight weeks for this bike. And yes. it's hard to get one. I've been trying to get one of these for my videos, but no luck. But finally, I have a friend who's bought one and this is his. And he's allowed me to film this. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about this bike, see some of its cool features. I'll take it out on the road for a spin, share my thoughts with you guys. We'll talk about the cost of ownership and assign it a Broman score. But before we get there, if you are new to Broman, give us a like and a subscribe. We'd really appreciate the support. It's me, it's your boy Bro, and I am your Broman. This is a beautiful, beautiful motorcycle. Isa, tell us more about this bike. Oh, this is a gorgeous bike. Uh, this is your 2021 Scout Bobber in a maroon smoke finish. It's got ABS, it's a six speed, 100 horsepower bike. It's very quick, very agile. I mean, if you're not careful, you're, you get on this bike, you give it too much uh, throttle, it'll probably blow you right off the bike. It's a super fun bike. It is. We it is all know about Isa. Bike. He's a crazy dude. He loves bikes that are super fast and crazy, so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's okay. what he means. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's what I mean. But really, this is a, this is a great, beautiful bike. For those of you who are looking something for something just around town, maybe shoot up to the mountains or maybe even down to the beach, this bike is just perfect. It's low, so when you sit on it and your, both of your feet touch the floor, uh, you got a good control over it. The center, it has a really low center of gravity. It's very well balanced. It's great for a beginner or an advanced rider mm -hmm. if you want to just have some stupid fun with it and you don't want a crotch rocket or a sports bike. Uh, you just want to tear up the canyons, the mountains, mm -hmm. go to the tail of the dragon or whatever you want to do. Whatever. With it. To me, this is a cross between the two of a crotch rocket and a cruiser bike. It's liquid cooled, which is really good. It's going to help keep that engine cool. You got the drag style bars, which kind of pulls you forward, which gives you that crotch rocket feel. But yet you're still a little bit more upright. And you get the bar end mirrors. Bar end mirrors. From, oh, it's beautiful. From yes. that. And yes. this color, it's so beautiful. It's, la it's very similar to the dark horse line that we have on the other, uh, the bigger cruisers. Mm -hmm. uh, the, yeah, it's yeah, got yes. that matte finish to the flat paint. Yes. Liquid cooled engine, this is about 1200 cc, right? Yeah, this is 1133 cc engine. 1133 cc uh, engine, liquid cooled, 100 horsepower, six speed. Accessory wise, you can do a lot with these bikes. Uh, you see that there is uh, highway bars on them right now. Uh, they don't normally come that way, uh, so those, those are accessories. You can add them on, change out the handlebars, or even put a, um, passenger a saddlebag, seat. passenger seat. The accessories catalog is endless at Indian, and there's a whole aftermarket for the Scouts, so you, you would have tons of accessories. So this is a wonderful bike, and well, thank you, Isa, man. You are always a pleasure. Thank you for all this wonderful information. Thank you, bro, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate now, it. Can you tell us a little bit about Indian Motorcycle Greensboro? Indian Motorcycle Greensboro is a family-owned business. It's a small business, but we're family-owned, so we, we treat everybody like family. We love to see everybody. We love to have everybody in here. Come on in, and uh, we treat you right. Check them out. I'll put the website link in the video description below. And Isa, what do they have to tell? You, what do the folks have to tell you when they come and visit you after watching my videos? The bro man sent you. Thank you so much. That's right. The bro man sent you. Okay. Well, Isa, thank you for your time. Hey, Isa, speaking about time, do you know what time it is? It's right o'clock. Right o'clock. Let's go. That's the front end of the Scout Bobber. You see the big fat Bobber tire up front, the drag bars, the bar and mirrors, the radiator, it's a liquid cooled engine. And this bike has a 29 degree rake angle. What's the rake angle you ask? Well, if you draw a perpendicular from the steering mount, follow the fork tube, that's the rake angle. Shorter the rake angle, the more nimble the bike is, and larger the rake angle, the more stable it is at highway speeds and higher speeds. You have the exposed suspension at the back. The two exhausts stacked one on top of the other. 
the brown barber seat. And this is how you can tell the difference between an Indian Scout and a Scout 60. The Indian Scouts say it's an Indian Scout on the fuel tank. On the Scout 60s, it just says Indian. The fuel cap, you just put your key in there, twist it and that will open it up. It has these round mirrors on the side. For the buttons on your left hand side, you have high beams, low beams, turn signals. You press that in, that's your hazards. Horn. On the right hand side, round mirror again. Kill switch and your starter. <laughs> you get this analog speedometer here with, light, uh, with lights here for high beams, error messages, left turn signal. ABS, neutral, fuel indicator, right turn signal, check engine light, and, and engine temperature. If you're new to Broman, don't forget to hit that like and that's, click that subscribe button. We put out content every week and your support would mean a lot. <laughs> Alright, so let's do our first test. We'll do our pull test. We'll see how this puppy pulls. <laughs> the 100 horsepower man, this thing makes this thing quite quick, quite quick. <laughs> well, uh, that brings us to our second test. Let's take it around some corners, shall we? corners let's see let's make a couple of u-turns and see how this thing maneuvers shall we <laughs> u-turns no problem short wheelbase no problemo all right so first impressions of this bike so i'm seated quite comfortably my legs aren't bent weirdly my legs are comfortable uh this has the bobber style handlebar so there those drag inspired handlebars there's a little bit of a reach to get to them but not too bad not too bad at all uh the stock seat is pretty pretty good um now it has a bobber seat so it's one of those smaller seats uh but if you but if you wanted a more comfortable seat you could always uh get another seat from indian or the aftermarket they've got you covered there <laughs> and check this out Ooh, yeah boy we can do this all day <laughs> As for the front, there is no big windshield, there is no fairing, uh, so I'm getting all of the wind uh, on my chest, on my body. It's a, it's a nice, pleasant day today, temperatures in the 80s, uh, so this is beautiful for a day like today. I'm assuming that if you did some cold weather riding, it would not be... Uh, very enjoyable because you'd be blast you'd be getting blasted with the wind a lot uh, this is a big change from my Indian Roadmaster uh, I'm used to a big fairing with that infotainment screen and all of that the right command center this has none of that this has that old-school speedometer and that's about it it keeps it simple it keeps it uh, as basic as you need it to be on a bobber but this is also a very uh, this has a short wheelbase it doesn't weigh a lot uh, puts out a decent amount of power so it does its job it does its purpose and you know I'm a big fan of this paint quality this color oh my god I love this matte finish I love this matte finish as for these mirrors they're they're not actually too bad uh, yeah the bar end mirrors are stock um, you can see a little bit you can see a good amount of stuff behind you it's not like those mirrors where all you see are your shoulders so that's that <laughs> this bike is completely stock it's got the stock pipes and everything it sounds pretty good it has that little chugga 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 sound that you that you would expect a v-twin to have and yeah 
it, this bike has character man character now this bike although it's a bobber you have the option to add a pillion seat in case you wanted to do two up riding uh, so, so they've got you covered there as well uh, the suspension isn't as bad as you'd expect out of bobbers or uh, choppers per se now they're not the most comfortable either like they're full dress touring motorcycles but it's not bad you don't feel a lot of bumps but if you go over big bumps nah you'll feel it the brakes are good yeah nice bite to them I'm about 5'10 31 inch inseam and I can flat foot it very easily this is a low bike uh, well, flat footing it is not an issue at all and I have my hands off as for the balance this is sitting up straight not going one way or the other beautiful yeah and that's a little chugga 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 sound <laughs> I love the twin the V twin chugga 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 it has a character so this has the same similar sound like the bigger Indians <laughs> uh, maybe not as loud but similar I love the balance and the flickability if that's a word yes <laughs> of this bike uh, pretty neat pretty pretty neat I like it now could you use this bike as a commuter well yeah um, this could be your daily rider daily commuter uh, as long as you have a backpack this has no storage space in its stock form I know that you can get some saddlebags like the soft saddlebags for the scouts uh, that'll get you some storage space but that's not gonna be a lot either uh, just because the bike is so short in its dimensions you can't put like a big saddlebag uh, and then if, if you did put a big saddlebag that would take away from the look of the bike so there's that but otherwise yeah it's got a good amount of power um, the seating is comfortable although I would definitely recommend uh, upgrading your stock seat that'll help but a yeah, fun commuter bike could this be your touring motorcycle uh, not really I mean I guess you could do a few hundred miles on it no issues but the reason why it's not gonna be a very good touring motorcycle is uh, in my opinion is that there is no wind protection to speak of yeah you could put a put a windshield and all of that uh, but you still have wind hitting your legs your, your lower body uh, the seating position although comfortable for your cruising around town activities it's not the seating position for touring and you have no storage space so you can't take much stuff with you anyways um, so yeah that's why I don't think this is gonna be a great touring bike I mean you can still do a couple of hundred miles here and there your weekend things your weekend shenanigans uh, but if you wanted to go touring probably not now is this a good bike for beginners well uh, no and the reason being it's it's very light it's nimble but it also puts out a, a good amount of power um, that is never a good combination for someone who is brand new to motorcycling this is a good intermediate bike or some uh, this is a great bike for someone who has a good deal of riding experience and they want to have something that's a little more a little comfortable but still fun and you can still throw it around corners and stuff yeah this is the bike for them now in my opinion the best beginner bike that I've tested is the uh, the Scout 60 the Indian Scout 60 that was that's even lighter than than the Indian Scout but it puts out a lot less power uh, costs a little less too and that's one of the best beginner motorcycles in my opinion this not so much but yes if you're brand new motorcycling you don't need all that power new, new, new. so let's talk about the cost of ownership this bike requires a service every 5,000 miles or a year whichever comes first and the service cost at the local Indian dealership should cost you about 230 bucks the tires on this motorcycle should get you about 10,000 miles. A lot of it would depend upon how you ride it. Ride it like a crazy person, won't last you that long. <laughs> uh, and a set of these tires costs you about $410.
So over a two year period, assuming you ride 5,000 miles a year, you would need two services and a set of new tires. That's a total of $870 divided by the number of days. It's about $1.20 a day. Let's go ahead and assign it a score, shall we? On the looks, it's an 8 out of 10. On the prop, it's an 8.5 out of 10. On the comfort, eh, it's a 7 out of 10. And on the maintenance, it's an 8.5 out of 10. For a combined bromance score of 8 out of 10. So, in conclusion, this is a fun little bike, man. Fun little bike. It's an Indian. You have that feel of those bigger Indians. Uh, it has the same chugga 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 characteristics. It has the same finish. Uh, it, the only thing is it handles so much better because of its low weight and shorter wheelbase. I mean, all of the Indians handle quite well, but this takes the cake. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a fun bike to have if you want to go around town, run errands, or just look cool. Pulling into your biker meet, you'll scrape tags every now and then. But hey, that's what this bike is meant for. <laughs> it's a blast to ride, it's fun, it looks cool. Not a good beginner bike, not great for touring. Uh, not a fan of the stock seats either. So there's that. <laughs> now, is this the bike for you? Well, head on down to your closest Indian motorcycle dealership and check it out for yourself. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Go out.